Hi everyone! Today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite books that I read this year and it's actually probably one of my favorite books of all time and that is The Cane Mutiny by Herman Woke. Once again, sorry if I pronounced the last name wrong. I'm gonna jump right into this review but first I'm gonna say that to explain why it was one of my favorite books there are going to be a few spoilers in this book review so if you want to pause and then go read The Cane Mutiny and then come back you can totally do that. If you don't think you'll ever read The Cane Mutiny, you know, it's not your cup of tea, whatever, that's totally fine, but there will be spoilers in this. So jumping right into it, The Cane Mutiny is about a man named Willie who serves aboard the Cane ship during World War II, and he is in the Pacific. And what I really like that Herman Woke does well is his characterization. Each person was like their individual character, I felt like I knew each of them and so that was like amazingly well done and I was worried for each of them like I wanted them all to survive the war and I wanted to know what happened to them and so that was so well done and that is something that I definitely think I need to work on in my writing is making each character of mine an individual and so I really admire Herman Woke for, be for being able to do that and also making me care about each of his characters, even Captain Quig. So in the Kane Mutiny, Captain Quig is kind of like the insane captain that takes over the Kane that they end up mutinying against. And I mean, that's no secret. That's not giving away much of the plot. That's, you kind of know it's going to happen once Captain Quig takes over. And so he is and does seem a little bit unstable. But that being said, this is this is going to be the spoiler. So plug yours if you don't want to hear it or turn it off and go read. I didn't end up hating Queeg and it is because after the mutiny, obviously the mutineers who are Tom Kiefer, the like first mate named Merrick and Willie, they all go on trial. Oh, sorry. It's just Merrick. Sorry. It's Merrick and Willie that go on trial. Kiefer is one of the witnesses, but he is very important to this. So Merrick is the one that mutineers and Willie kind of backs him up when the mutiny happens and Tom testifies at the trial. And afterwards, those two, Merrick and Willie, they get off scot-free. Everything's fine. You know, Captain Quig is the disgraced captain of the cane and then no longer the captain of the cane. And so, you know, there's a big celebration. They got off free. Everything's fine. Woo hoo hoo. But the lawyer who actually represented Merrick and Willie during the trial, he stands up during this big celebration and he gives this long speech about how the wrong person was on trial. And how about Tom Kiefer, who was kind of the mastermind behind the whole mutiny by planting ideas in people's brains, but not acting himself, should have been the one who was on trial. And then his speech continued and he talked about how Captain Quig didn't deserve what had happened to him because he had been fighting the war and he had been fighting Nazis and he had been fighting against the Japanese empire while everyone else was just, you know, at school sitting there basically trying to catch up to him and how maybe if the men had respected him more, they would have respected him. And that like hit home hard that he had been in this war for so long protecting people while they had just been sitting at home trying to be him basically and that is what made the book for me because when I first read this book and started it I was expecting to hate Quig like oh this man's insane like he's collecting thousands of keys to see if they fit in one lock like 4,000 keys and just laying them on his bed like he's absolutely nuts and like, what a horrible person. But when the lawyer Greenwald gave up and gave that speech about how the wrong person was on trial and how Quig deserved the respect, that is what made the book for me. It still would have been a good book without that, but when that hammered home, I literally ended the book and was just like, wow, 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 wow. I could literally not stop saying wow, because without that, it would not have been such a powerful book. But when he gave that speech, about how Quig deserved respect, I respected him and I felt bad for Quig and I felt bad for Merrick because although Merrick did get off like the charges of being a mutineer or whatever, he wasn't allowed to be in the Navy anymore and that destroyed his naval career. And then 
the ship just keeps going downhill. This is more spoilers, so still plug your ears or whatever. But Tom Kiefer becomes captain, and he's just as, like, cowardly and withdrawn and upset as Queeg was. And so to see this guy who thought he was much better than Queeg the entire time and the guy who basically orchestrated the mutiny turning into Queeg was, like, wow. It was another wow moment. Like, there's just so many wow moments in the novel and it was, it really made me think. It made me think about humanity. It made me think about war. And the characterization, like I said, of each character really helped that. Because at the end, when the cane is decommissioned at the end of the war, Willie looks around and there's a lot of men there that he doesn't know. And he wishes that the sailors that he had sailed with and he had gotten to know were there with him. And I did too. I wanted to know what happened to Merrick. I wanted to know what happened to Kiefer. I wanted to know what happened to Laura Greenwald. I wanted to know what happened to Stillwell. Like all these characters throughout the novel, I wanted to know what happened to them. And that's why the writing was so amazing because during war you fight together, usually so closely with all these men. And then when the war is over, it's kind of like you go back to your own lives. And what happens next? Like you might never see each other again. And that was so like hard for me because I really did love and get to know all of these characters and I'm not going to spoil anything else <laughs> so sorry this is going to be a long review because I just love the book so much and I could gush about it but it was also interesting to see like I said Tom Kiefer is the guy who kind of orchestrated the mutiny and it is really interesting to see the juxtaposition between him and his half-brother Roland Kiefer and what happens in moments of like trial and stress to them. And so I would say, once again, another wow moment, just those two men who are related, but the difference in how they react was just like insane. And I definitely suggest The Kane Mutiny. It is, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a novel for everyone. It's even hard for me to read like war novels and I mean, there's this one scene, okay, I guess I'm going to spoil one more thing. There's one scene where um, on the cane, they're basically backing up people on the beach, I guess, is the best way to describe it. So there are soldiers on the beach in Japan, you know, trying to take an island over, obviously. And back on the cane, they're just eating ice cream. And at one point, Willie just feels so bad because he's asking for more chocolate syrup and eating this ice cream while people are out dying on the beach. And that's what war is. Like, war is not this fun game. It's real and it sucks. So, yeah, that's why I would suggest the Kane Mutiny because I think it just hammers home what war can do to people and also how people respond to it. And man, like, it was just a powerful novel. That's what I'll say. The Kane Mutiny by Herman Woke, a freaking powerful novel. And, um, because of that, and the power that this like novel like slammed home, I don't have a question for this book review. I just want all of you to think about some way that you could help people in need. Because there are people in need everywhere, all over the world, and it doesn't matter where you are, and it doesn't matter where you have been, there's like someone that can use her, your help, and someone that's having like their own war, whether it's an external war or whether that's an internal battle that they're having there's someone you can help and so please go out and help someone because that's literally the best thing we as humans can do is to help each other and yeah that was the cane mutiny by herman woke definitely suggest it it's one of my favorite books i have ever read ever so thank you all for listening if you like this and you like books and you like book reviews, I post every Friday or try to. I've missed a few. And so you can subscribe to my channel, like and comment down below about maybe a good novel that you've read lately or anything that you wanted to say. Thank you so much. And you guys all remember to help other people and have a great day.